Alright guys, so we just got off of school here, and uh, it is 1980, early spring of 1980, so we're actually going to give you a tour of the farm, and we got some plans for today, so, yeah, let's get into the video. Alright, let's just get everything out of here, and we'll get out of here, so... Let's go put everything back in my house, speaking of which. Alright, there we go. So, we're going to give you guys a tour of this farm. This is, uh, it's around the be beginning weeks of March of 1980. We got my car here. This is my Ford Bronco. And we also got my dad's old F100. I don't know why he still drives this thing, but whatever. It's fine. I'm fine with it. I mean, I'm cool with it. Most of the time, I'm running this, but rather us, yeah. I don't know what's with the seat, like, head covers. It just says the squad on them. I think that's, like, the seat company cover, or... or I, I don't know. But this is our farm. Uh, we actually used to run bulls or cattle, I should say. But we stopped running cattle, so we have quite a bit of equipment. And we actually bought a new tractor around last year because um, for so long, we were running old tractors like down here. This is like in mid-30s. mid Yeah, this is a mid-30s John Deere Model A. It's very nice. Well, it's not very nice anymore, but it was nice at the beginning. Uh, like when I was little, it was really nice. My grandpa and my dad kept in really good shape over here is our combine this is our john deere turbo 8820 pretty nice uh i think it's i think it's about i don't know how old it is. it's it's around it's pretty new as well this is a pretty new combine but we're gonna head into the main shed that i work on my projects like my school projects like i actually do welding and all that out of school and we soon actually need to look into buying a truck and or like welding truck. I don't know. Because usually I go out to jobs and weld and a Ford Bronco does not do it. So I'm actually going to open these gates here because we have to get through here and actually do a job today. So let's open these doors. All right. That should be good right there. Perfect. So this is all we got in here. Not a lot, but it's a, it's a, it's a nice start really. So right here is our old farm mall, 460 diesel. This works out really well for the farm and actually works really well on the farm. Uh, this is actually my tractor. I actually bought this when I was like 13, 14. It's like a little run around tractor. Like we'll pull stuff out of here if we need it. Like if we want to pull stuff out. Right here is a Peterbilt 352. We just bought this recently. Very nice at auction. It was actually a very nice truck. I want to take off this. Well, I don't. But we want to take off this little back part. This back headrest. But again, it's nice to have when we're out in the field. And something happens, you know. Same with these little toolboxes right here. These little side steps. But that toolbox is built inside of them. Right here is a John Deere 4440. This is almost brand new we bought this actually brand new on order it cost quite a bit of money the tractor we had was like a model a we have one we have another model a we had another model a we sold that and that actually raised a lot of money in auction and that kind of mostly paid for this and mostly also some of my school work not my school work but mostly my work i was doing with welding also helped out pretty well with buying this tractor so i guess most of the time like calling stuff with this and using it really because i Brought some of my money into it with welding. And right here is our brand new Case International 490 disc. I gotta get through here, jeesh. I also use quite a bit of my money with that disc, but it's very nice. We're gonna hop inside of the farm mall. So let me turn on the gas line right here, or a fuel line, sorry. And let's hop up in here and just push in the clutch, start it up. Perfect, there we go. So we just gotta pull this out and we're gonna pull out this 8350 John Deere planter. Let's hope we can make it out here. I should make it out of here. Yeah, I should be able to turn this wheel. There we go. And then we'll back up to the pen. All right, that should be good. All right, so let's just pull this forward. We gotta watch for these wheels because it's really hard to park this back inside. I'll tell you that right now. So I, I gotta make sure this is gonna make it out. Um, I gotta turn to the right a little more. Please, someone's not gonna knock on that. There we go. We got it out. We actually need to find a new spot for this while I. I think we'll park. No, we can't park it in there. Never mind. We'll pull this over here. All right, we'll 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 keep this running for now. I guess maybe Dad will run this later. I don't know. Maybe he'll turn it around. I do not know. Shut the door here. So since we got the 8350 and the farm mill out now, we gotta get in the 352 and run down to a neighbor's house and. Pick Pick up a new trailer um it's a travis and dump trailer it's pretty new it, it's really nice actually but we did have a trailer for it for this truck actually but the frame kind of was bent and uh that wasn't good so yeah well i think on our way out i think we'll just pull by the field and check how wet the field is so we know that we're getting good you know so we're good let's hop up in here start her up old 13 speed here we come just gonna pull this out 
And there we go. That knows I'm going, so I'm good. Right, just make sure we don't... There we go. We're good. So, yeah, this is going to be our new series. I'm actually going to work this through, actually. We're actually going to... This is going to be a non-stop series, hopefully. I want this to go all, through all the way from, you know, 1980 to 1989. And then, like, uh, I would also want to see, like, the 90s and 2000s, you know, and, like, how they all do it. They do it, like, really... They, they don't... The people that, like, really originally made the idea, which was, like, Grant, Buck, uh, or I shouldn't say Grant, I should say The Squad, Roman Buck, Former Pickle, all of them, is that they were decided, like, okay, we're gonna do 89, 99, 2009, and 2019, and which is a good idea, but again, I think people like me would not do what I'm doing right now, playing through all the way. So, I mean, this will be pretty interesting, and I will try being as realistic as I can to, like, how the era was, like, you know the era really yeah i just want to explain that out jeez this truck is i hate how bad the steering is on this i need to get a new truck I and mean, a nice mac possibly would be cool but you never know you gotta stop up here i think i think it's up here no it's not one thing i'll say is if you guys are watching more than one video and you guys are enjoying the content that does actually show a good shot sign you guys are enjoying the content so what you guys can do to help me out is actually hit the subscribe button Hit the like button. Also, go down in the comments section below and comment down what you guys thought of the video. So, it looks like we are here and I have the money on my seat. Yep, we do. We're good. He's pulling here. We're going to go inside, talk to him, and we will buy the trailer. So, I'll be back when we get this done. Holy crap, look how long this frame is on this truck. So, we bought the trailer and we just got to pull into it. He's going to help us learn. And I'm going to teach my dad how to use it myself because, uh, you know, you know me. I always have to go out and pick up this stuff. But I'm going to call a neighbor when I get home because it sounds like a neighbor actually needs help with their field, with plowing. So, or somebody, I don't know who needs help, but I think they said it's damaged or broken or stolen. I don't remember, but it didn't sound too good. So, uh, we're probably going to run down to their field and disc up their field. So, yeah, but we got this trailer here. Really nice. So, we're going to back into this trailer and hook up and we're going to leave. So, let's get that let's get that done. All right. So, we are hooked up and we look all ready to go. Everything looks fine. Everything looks good, ready to go. So, let's uh, hop in here. Let's let's, uh, let's leave. Jesus, truck's frame is long. And yeah, so, we're just going to go down this road and turn here. And hopefully, we will make it home. Hopefully. All right, let's so turn here. You know, when these houses down here wouldn't look too bad on me. I could buy one of these houses here soon, you know. And just try to work every day instead of, you know, living there. But whatever. So, we're just going to roll down to here and uh, hopefully get this done. I don't even know if the planter will even fit in the actual shed anymore. Because I'm going to put both the truck and trailer in there. So, hopefully, it'll fit. All right, guys. Looks like we are here. So, we are going to pull this inside of the shop. And we are going to... Actually, before we do, we're actually going to pull out to John Deere and uh, give a couple neighbors a call and see what they have for jobs. And if we don't have any jobs popped up, uh, we will actually just plow up the like edges of our field see how it rips up and see how it goes and if it goes pretty well then maybe we'll start ripping up our field soon and get it done all right let's get to 44 40 pulled out so let's hop up in here i'm making sure is the door unlocked no it's not wow have my keys on me nope i don't well i guess i gotta go inside and uh check in with dad and see if he wants me to go out plowing before before trying to get in there and do it and then he's want me to so i'll be back when we get the keys possibly all right so my dad said yeah so i got the keys so We'll unlock it real quickly. All right, let's hop up in here. Try unlocking it. Perfect. All right, so let's start her up. All right, so let's put her in first gear. Step on her lightly. Holy cow, this thing is kind of small, but... Not hit that at all costs. Perfect, we're good. We'll pull it out down here. There we go. Parking brake down. There we go. It looks pretty. So now we'll back this up. We're going to back it up in this corner if we can. Hopefully, we probably won't be able to, but whatever. We'll try. Let's back this up. I'll be back when we get this all backed up. Well, I got really lazy, so uh, I'll just pull it in here for now. Looks pretty good for here for now. But it looks pretty nice next to our John Deere combine. Let's get in our 4440. My dad actually told me there is a contract for a neighbor, I think he said, that is down at field. Let me check real quickly. All right, so I got the address, or not the address, but I got the field. So we're just going to ride down there, plow it up, and leave. It's not that much for a well, I shouldn't say it's that, that much food field, but it is a pretty big field. We're actually going to pull back that farm all and the 8350 real quickly. All right, there we go. Everything is parked, so now we are going to uh, shut these doors here. My dad would not be happy if I didn't shut the doors. He always gets mad at me if I don't shut the doors, so yeah. So we're going to roll down to the field, and uh, it'll be pretty fun. So I'll be back when we are done with that field. So we're going to do a big old time lapse to 
for now till uh, we get done with that field. So I'll be back when we get that done. Alright, let's keep on disking up here. Let's hope we don't hit a rock because the actual owner of this field actually told me he does not uh he did not pick rocks on here first, so he doesn't know if there's any rocks on here at all. So that's that's really nice to know. But uh no, let's hope nothing uh so nothing bad happens. Whoa, what was that? Jeez. Ooh, we hit a rock. We hit a big one, too. Jeez, I wonder if we can get that. Let me try kicking at that. I can't get it out. I guess we're going to call that down here, but we can't, really. There's no place to go. <sighs> Do we have any tools in the toolbox? Let me check. This ain't good. We have no tools that I can really use to knock it out. I guess we'll fold up, and uh, I guess we'll go over there and see if we can get a phone over there. Oh, my gosh. It smells bad out. Is this a cattle auction? Like a cattle auction? Oh, it's up to the phone. Uh-oh. I don't know if they do or not. We we'll pull into here and make sure we'll be all right. Yep, yeah, we should be good. Stop here. Why is there just a cow just sitting there? Why would, be, why would there be a cow just sitting there like that? I really don't know. Where would I go to ask? Because these are just both barns. Oh, in here. Let me go check in here. All right, I'll be back when we get out of here. All right, so we went in there, and uh, there was a phone. So I 
So I paid the guy like 50 cents to let me use it for like two minutes and call dad. He was at home, but mom was home. I think dad went to a meeting, which ain't great. I'm not driving this all the way back home, just get a rock out of it. So I think mom's coming down with tools, hopefully, with dad's truck, because dad used my Bronco, I think. By the way, she's using my truck, my Bronco, or her dad's truck, so. Yeah, I'm gonna wait for the meantime, so. I guess we'll just sit in the tractor meantime. Well, geez, after some time, we finally got mom pulling in with my car. Oh, but, oh I forgot to tell her to bring my lunch. Crap. Jeez. Come on, go. Oh, is that that? That's that. Oh, never mind. Huh. All right, well, now we're just going to get our tools out of here. So let me get these out and right there. We're going to have to unfold this here. And I guess we'll just bane this out. So let's just try baying this out. And we should be finally getting it out hopefully soon. <laughs> yes, we just got it. All right, that's perfect. So now we just need to put the boulder or whatever this, I guess, a rock in the back of my truck. I guess Dad will drive this back and uh, he'll have fun with it. it. Looks like Dad's going to be following us, so that ain't too bad. We just got to go down the road and we were right there. But at least Dad brought some good tools with him. But he was driving kind of fast my truck or my vehicle. Yeah, hopefully soon we'll get that trailer in. Because I, I like that. I really do like it. But again, we need something more efficient. Something more, a little bit more newer. For the farm, of course, you know. Yeah, make sure he doesn't ram into me. He's doing good. He's going to ride in the field, of course. Watch him do that. I'm serious at. Uh, he's right there. Okay. All right, there we go. I'm just going to tell him right there. Meantime, so I'm just gonna let him wait there, and you can do whatever he wants while I'm plowing. Yeah, but we're gonna get back to plowing and all that, so I'll be back when we get this done. All right, so we are now gonna make it home. We just got done farming, so our dad's gonna follow us in my Bronco. He went somewhere for a little while. I was wondering where he went because I didn't see him in the truck for a little while. But yeah, I've gotta call that guy tonight and see what he has for me. He's at $2,500, or just or he has a tractor that isn't running, but it's a very nice tractor actually, and he'll give me that instead of $2,500. So I don't know what to take yet, really. Which I kind of want to take the tractor, but to get twenty-five hundred dollars, I can go out and buy a running tractor. I mean, that would not be a bad idea either. I right, just pull this around here. Wait, like I was saying with that, I think I could do it. I really think I could. So I mean, I guess we could try it out. With my dad gain up on me, my tractor is a Bronco. He's got a four. There's a four twenty-seven Cobra in there, and he's going as slow as me. He could really zip around me and go home right now if I wanted to. Just gonna wait for even punch from here. He's fine. Come on, jeez. But yeah, this is pretty fun farm with this today. It was really nice, actually. But, uh, yeah, maybe tomorrow we'll check out that tractor I was talking about and, uh, possibly, possibly get it. All I know of it so far is it is a, I think he told me it was a John Deere. And I'm not going to expect it to be a brand new one. I'm expecting it to be like a Model A or a, like a 730 or a, you know what I mean. It's going to be like a mid 50s, early 60s model, I'm assuming. I won't be surprised, really. But it'd be kind of cool to have. I think he was talking about a 4020. The other week i was sitting around and not doing anything gosh dad is so slow i don't know what happened with him but he did say something misfired in the engine that's why he stopped so there's something misfiring in that engine i think it's one of the injectors going out so we're probably going to get an injector or not an injector excuse me probably a i don't, I don't know what i'm going to do with that we're going to keep our eyes on the road i don't know why dad's going so slow jeez yeah he's going pretty slow i think he's worried about me like i, I don't always worried about but i'm not going to do anything bad i know how to drive this thing i got there but I got to the place by myself with it. I guess he thinks I'm not going to make it back. I don't know. I better check my fuel speaking, which... Oh, we're good. We're good. I'm going to stop again. Oh, my gosh. He's going pretty slow, actually. I don't know with him and his trust issues, but I'm not doing so bad. I mean, I don't know. Coming over that hill? Yeah, he is. Apparently. Yeah, I think next episode for, for stream, we are going to plow up that second field. Or our field, I should say. Hopefully, we get any more calls for cultivating, we could probably do those video i don't know but yeah next episode we'll probably go check out that tractor and see what he's talking about because that guy lives i think pretty far away from that uh from that field so i think he lives a county away i, I don't know let's see is he coming with i don't know what's going on with him i want to pull over here and just see what he's doing i don't know where he's at oh i see him he's taking the train in i think jeez what is he doing my truck as soon as he says yeah, the engine is slipping, all this. Oh my gosh, alright, whatever. I guess I'll follow him in the meantime. Oh my gosh, he's going slower than I am, jeez. Watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. Pass him. 
Yeah, he ain't yeah, he ain't gonna pass me now. He is going as slow as a turtle. Well, it is a Ford after all. I shouldn't be really expecting Ford to go that fast. Mine goes pretty fast, actually. It has a 427 turbo in it, but still. There's our house up there speaking, which I can tell by the flag. What time is it speaking? Let me check my watch. Jeez, it's almost 8 o'clock. I haven't had dinner dinner yet. How much you want to bet he had to, though? He got some dinner. Been working hard all day. Man, that house is nice. Let's continue on driving down here. We'll take a turn in here, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to make it in here su successfully. Let's hope, let's hope I know where the train's at. I think the train's up here. Yep, I know my street correctly. I see these headlights. I'm going to beat him there. I'll be parked, and I'll be in bed by the time he gets here. So, yeah, I got to call the owner tonight. I'll definitely going to pick up that money or the tractor tomorrow. Which, speaking of which, I do not have any trailer to pull that. So, it's most likely I'm going to get driven up there. I'm going to drive the tractor back by myself. So... Yeah, I would not be surprised by that. We are just making it into our house. We should be good to go. I was not expecting Dad to go that slow. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna pull this in. Well, oh, after I open the doors. Let's open these doors and let's turn on the lights while at it. There we go. Perfect. Actually, what am I gonna back this into? Well, we could back it in. I don't know what we're gonna back into, but we'll try our best to get it in there. And there he is. I told you I'd be in here by the time I, I pulled it in. My Bronco pulled him next to his truck. Jeez, he really made a mess. Oh my gosh. He really made a mess, actually. Oh, he better be cleaning it later tonight. Or tomorrow, he better be. There better be absolutely no mud in my interior, though. Because I can I can see a little crack in my interior. Oh, well, I guess that's the end of today. So, yeah, guys. Thank you for watching today's video. If you guys liked the video, hit the like button, subscribe, and also go down in the comment section below. And comment down your favorite part of the video. Or if you guys like this video. Or if you guys hate it. Whatever. I'm openly taking criticism. I don't care. If you guys find yourselves watching more than one video. It shows a good sign you're enjoying the content. What you guys can do to help me actually as well. Is to subscribe. Hit the like button on this video. And all my other videos you guys watch. And go down in the comments below. And comment down what you guys thought of the videos that you guys watched. So yeah. But thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later. And peace out.